So I already got a bunch of requests to do a video on these new Sparkle String Lights by Govi. They just came out last month and they're already one of their best sellers. Now what's nice about these is that they're RGBW, so hopefully I'll be able to figure out how to get everything hooked up to WLED and still have control over that white diode along with all the color options. The first thing I'll be doing is making a cut at about the halfway point between the Govi controller and the place where it gets connected to the beginning of the lights. After the cut, you can pull apart the three strands of wires and then go ahead and strip those back. Now there's going to be two thicker wires which will be our voltage and ground and then this third smaller one is going to be our data. And big shout out to Govi for making this super simple because on one of the two thicker wires you'll see these little white dots which is going to be our voltage line, the other thick wire in the middle is the ground, and then the thin one is data. For controlling the lights I'll be using Glidopto's brand new Elite 4D. This has WLED pre-installed, has a bunch of different power options, it has an ethernet port as well as Wi-Fi connectivity, a replaceable fuse, and four data outputs so you can easily expand your setup down the road. Next I'll take the wire with the dots which is our voltage and connect that to the red voltage slot on the controller. Then the middle ground to the GND opening and finally the smaller data wire into the IO16 slot. For power, I'm going to use the 5 volt 3 amp supply that these lights come with. To do this, I'll separate and strip back the 3 wires on the other side we cut like I'm doing now. Then since we don't want to use the data from the Govi controller, I'll stick an inline WAGO on that for now. From here, it's as simple as inserting the wire with the same white dots into the red opening on the left side of the controller and then the remaining wire into the negative slot. Once that's done, plug it in, but if nothing happens, make sure to remember that the power button on the Govi controller still can turn things on and off. Now for the WLED settings, go to Configure, LED Preferences, and I have the brightness limiter turned on and set to 2800 milliamps. Strip type set to SK6812 slash WS2814, color orders RGB, swap set to none. I have their 66 foot kit which has 250 LEDs so I'll put that in the length, but if you did have the 99 foot version, you'd put this number to 375. And finally, we're using the IO16 data pin, so put 16 in the GPIO field. Hit save, and honestly, this might be the easiest conversion yet, because everything now works perfectly with WLED. So as far as controlling the dedicated white light, to do that I'll first turn off the color. Then the bottom slider controls the white diode's brightness, so I'll turn that all the way up. Then the middle slider adjusts the temperature. Left is warm white, right is cool. And of course, you then have access to the effects and animations that we all know and love that's part of WLED. But don't forget, you also have the built-in mic, check. so all the sound react animations are also in play. Two, two. Now I definitely wanted to test these out some more, so I wrapped one of our Christmas trees. And for reference, this is 7.5 feet tall, and I would say that the 66 foot long one was just about perfect. Any taller though, or if you wanted higher density, for sure go with the 99 foot version. So right here I'm just manually changing the colors and animation to something that fits the vibe of the room. And if you are curious on what all I have going on in the back, I did a full dedicated video on the build out from start to finish that I'll leave a link to in the description that you can check out if interested. But considering we're now running WLED, I can take advantage of all the programs that support this such as Signal RGB for screen mirroring. And if you are curious to know how to set this up, I'll leave links to the dedicated videos I've done on this topic in the description that you can watch. From here on out, I'll play some more Ambulite footage, but thank you all for watching, and as always, I hope you have a blessed day. The time was up, sun on your skin, stole my breath, won't breathe again. Your hand in mine, it was enough I'll run to you, you're giving up Our love is fading Cold, 
So if you stuck around till the very end, you get another nugget of information. If at any point you want to switch back to controlling things with the Govi software, just disconnect all the wires from the Glidopto controller, and then you can use some inline Woggle connectors to reattach the wires back together, and just like that, you're back to Govi. Again, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a blessed day.